Hey, it's so good to see you here. How are you? I hope you're feeling fantastic and having an amazing day today. So in today's video, I want to talk about something that maybe I judged slightly too harshly when I first tried it. And that is this. This device is a 3-in-1 device that combines radio frequency, EMS microcurrent, and LED light therapy. Now when I reviewed this product and I compared it with my other radio frequency device, I was purely judging it on its radio frequency output, which to be honest, really is pretty useless. However, this does also have other useful features that I completely decided to overlook. I'll admit it, I'm addicted to my radio frequency and sometimes I get a little bit RF tunnel vision. So after playing with this for a little while and reading your comments and doing a little bit more research, which by the way, I found really difficult to stop, I decided that this probably deserves a little bit more of a trial than I first gave it which is what I've been doing. So I don't bother with this for the radio frequency. I don't need it. It's nowhere near strong enough to actually provide any real results. But when it comes to microcurrent and the LED light therapy, it's actually pretty useful. With this beauty instrument, it comes with a variety of different LED colors. My studio lighting kind of makes it difficult to see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it to my hand and that will give you a better idea. So we have red, green, blue, yellow, pink. It's like a violety pink and then the flashing pink. So today I want to talk more about what is LED light therapy? How does it work? And what are the benefits of it? Before we kick off with this video, a huge shout out to Sharon Ann Anti-Aging. I literally spent this past weekend binge watching your videos. If you're into the kind of content that I produce, which is anti-aging devices, machine reviews, product reviews, befores and afters, all of that kind of stuff, make sure you head on over and check out her YouTube channel. She has some really awesome stuff on there, which is well worth a watch. And to make things easy, I'm going to throw the link to her channel down below. So after this video, head on over and check her out. So to kickstart this video, let's first take a look at what LED stands for. LED is an acronym for light emitting diode which basically means it emits light of different wavelengths, which in turn provides energy to the skin. So when looking at the different colors, each color comes with its own unique wavelength, and this will determine the depth that it can penetrate your skin and the type of benefits that it's gonna provide. Now it's true, at home, LED light therapy devices aren't going to be anywhere near as strong as the kind of devices you'll find in clinics or cosmetic hospitals. But with ongoing and committed use, you can actually get some pretty significant significant results from them. So don't write them off just yet. Some of the benefits of LED light therapy include a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, glowing and revitalized skin, a reduction in the bacteria that causes acne and cystic acne, collagen stimulation, fibroblast stimulation, reduced pigmentation, and improved healing times. Obviously, they all sound amazing, but it's important to remember that not each of these actions is performed by each color. So to understand how each wavelength is going to benefit your skin, you first need to understand the different different layers of your skin. So the outer layer of our skin is known as the epidermis and this is roughly 0.1 millimeters thick. Just beneath the epidermis we have the dermis and this averages between 1.5 to 2 millimeters thick. And below that we have the hypodermis, which is also roughly two millimeters thick. When it comes to your face and body, it's also important to remember that your skin depth will vary. As an example, on the soles of the feet, the dermis can be around about three millimeters thick, whereas on the eyelids, it's roughly around about 0.6 millimeters thick. So understanding skin depth and density across the different areas of your face is gonna help you understand how to target the treatments better and choose an appropriate wavelength that isn't going to go too deep. So now we've got the skin depths out of the way, let's take a look at the different wavelengths. So you have two different types of wavelengths. You have visible wavelengths and you've got invisible wavelengths. One of the most common invisible wavelengths that we come into contact with every day is UV light. This is also the wavelength that penetrates the least into the skin. With a wavelength of between 150 and 380 nanometers, it will rarely make it past 0.1 millimeters, which means that it's going to target the epidermis. This is one of the main reasons that when you get a tan, it tends to fade pretty quickly unless you can continuously keep topping up your UV because it's really only focusing on the upper layer of the skin. Next up we have blue light which has a wavelength of between 390 and 470 nanometers and is able to penetrate approximately 0.3 
20mm into the skin, which means it's able to make its way into the dermis layer. Green light comes with a wavelength of between 475 and 575 nanometers, and this also is able to penetrate into the dermis with a depth of around about 0.4mm. Orange comes with a wavelength of between 545 and 600 nanometers and is able to penetrate into the skin at approximately 0.5 to 1 millimeter. Then we have red light, which has a wavelength of between 600 and 650 nanometers and is able to penetrate the skin at a depth of around 1 millimeter to 2 millimeters. Deep red IR or deep red infrared with a nanometer wavelength of between 650 and 950 is able to penetrate the skin by 2 to 3 millimeters which means it's able to reach your dermis and your hypodermis. Now it's important that we reach the dermis and the hypodermis when we're trying to do these kind of light therapy treatments because these are the areas where you find the structural and fibrous elements that keep the face structure in place. As we start to age, the hypodermis begins to atrophy or reduce in size. And this leads to a thinning of the skin, laxity, sagging, more prominent lines and wrinkles, all of those things that are associated with aging. So to reach the dermis and the hypodermis, you really need to be using red light and red light works so well for stimulating collagen production and fibroblasts, which all work together to plump out the hypodermis and the dermis again, giving you thicker, more youthful looking skin. So what are the benefits of LED light therapy and each different color? So now we'll quickly summarize what each color does and the benefits it has on the skin. Red LED light therapy is able to stimulate collagen production, fibroblasts, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, boost the levels of ATP in the skin and give you a plumper, softer, fuller complexion. Violet and violet blue light are ideal for helping with lymphatic drainage, which can be really useful if you suffer with puffiness or bags under the eyes. Then we move on to blue LED light, which is known to destroy the bacteria that causes acne. It's also believed that blue LED light is able to reduce the amount of oil that your oil glands produce. So if you suffer with oily skin or acne breakouts, then blue light can be really beneficial with helping to reduce this. Green wavelengths can help to reduce redness, which is great for rosacea. And it also helps to minimize pigmentation. So if you suffer from dark marks or sunspots, then green light is the way to go. Yellow light is also known to reduce redness, which is great if you've got sunburn or if you suffer from rosacea or flush and it also helps to soothe sensitive skin. Orange light wavelengths can help to improve radiance and give you more of a glow to your complexion, while pink wavelengths can help with product absorption. And finally, we have white LED wavelengths, which are known to help improve and aid with the healing process, speeding things along and minimizing the risk of developing scars. So that's pretty much all of the science out of the way. Hopefully I've explained it easy enough for you to understand. I was ignorant enough to think that LED light therapy was pretty much one of those scam things that, that really doesn't provide many benefit. But the thing is, the more that I looked into this and dug deeper and looked at the research and the studies and the results of other people, the more I'm convinced about its effectiveness. Which is why over the past week and a half, I've been doing a 20 minute treatment every day. And if I'm honest, I've not seen any huge improvements or results, but they're definitely there. I've seen a reduction in the amount of redness I have, and overall my face just feels a little bit healthier, I guess. But the thing to remember here is that skin regeneration takes time, so you're looking at between five to eight weeks before you start noticing really visible results from LED light therapy. And if I keep using this consistently, I'm hoping that I'm gonna see more visible results in the next three to four weeks. Yeah, I guess I was a bit of a fool for brushing something off without actually understanding its actions or looking deeper into it, and I'm so so glad that I did. So with this device, I use the red LED light setting because obviously everything I do is about anti-aging. Yes, I do suffer from rosacea, but it's only ever really set off if I eat something really spicy or if my allergies flare up. Now the thing to be aware of with LED light therapy is that although it's antioxidant, it's also got the ability to cause oxidative stress on your skin. So whenever you're performing a treatment with LED, it's really important that you include an antioxidant serum into your routine. So for me, I apply a few drops of vitamin C serum before doing a treatment. Over the top of this, I will apply some of my conductive gel. I go for the microcurrent and the radio frequency now on the lowest intensity level and then let the lights do their work. Now, when I was browsing through some videos, I noticed that there are people on there commenting saying that when you use these devices, 
literally they're shouting at people in all caps. Don't do it in circular motions. You'll cause the skin to drop. Only use it in an upward action. I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to call absolute bullshit on that. Whenever you're doing a treatment, you need to remember that your skin is a living thing. It's not something that can be molded and pushed into position. Whether you're using a gentle circular motion, whether you're doing an upward motion, a downward motion, backwards and forwards, it's gonna make no difference because at the end of the day, as long as you're providing an even treatment around the area that you're doing, your skin isn't suddenly gonna lock into place or drop into place just because you're pulling it down. The skin doesn't work that way. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work that way. So whenever you're doing a skin treatment at home, just do what is most natural and comfortable for you. Yes, you might get people coming for you saying that you're using a device wrong, but unless they put themselves out there and show doing these different actions is gonna cause bad side effects, you know, they're in no position to be telling you how to do your skin treatment. I mean, of course, it's always good to listen to people and take their thoughts and opinions on board, which is what I always do. But at the end of the day, I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do and you should do what you're gonna do. So to use this device, it's pretty simple. All you do is you have your power button here, you press power on, it always starts with the red LED light. Then you can choose your intensity levels here by pushing the power button again. Five intensity levels on this. The intensity level is for the EMS. So level one and two is microcurrent. Anything above this is muscle stimulation. So I stick with the lower levels of one and two to increase the ATP in my skin. To select the color you want, you just push the lower button here, which is LED selection, and that will change the light for you. After 10 minutes, this automatically turns itself off, which is great because then you know to switch to the other side of the face. So for me, I do 20 minutes, I do 10 minutes on each side. I don't move the device around. When I'm doing a treatment, I hold it in place for around about two or three minutes. Obviously, I can't do this video without at least giving a little demonstration of how it's used. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna treat the area around my eye and the upper cheek. So first thing I do, a couple of drops of vitamin C. Make sure you get that antioxidant serum on there. Next thing I do is I apply a little bit of conductive gel just to help the microcurrent. Now you can use any moisturizer that you want with this, but make sure that any moisturizer that you apply doesn't contain SPF because obviously SPF is designed to block wavelengths. So it could interfere with the effectiveness and the depth that the light is able to reach by pretty much reflecting it away from you. But yeah, make sure any creams or moisturizers or conductive gels you use are free from SPF if possible go for water based because again water is less reflective than oil so it's going to help with better penetration into the skin so I've put some antioxidant serum on there I have my conductive gel to help with the microcurrent and the RF if the RF is even really working turn on the power and then there's nothing else to push after this all you do is you apply it to the skin now I guess this is a benefit of the RF being so weak in this is the fact that you can actually hold it in position for three to four minutes without burning yourself. You do get a slight tingling sensation. It's almost non-existent from the microcurrent on the level one and level two. When you go to level three, you might notice a little bit of twitch and that's the EMS kicking in. So I actually use EMS above my eyebrows to build the muscles there that lift. And I love to use it around my jawline and under the chin just to keep everything nice and tight. So now I can feel my skin is beginning to warm up. I'd like to say that's from the radio frequency, but I can actually feel it's not from the metal contact plates. It's actually coming from the light. Now, one thing that I've noticed since I started using this device daily is that the small thread veins that I had running across my cheeks seem to be shrinking and getting smaller and less visible. I don't know if that's down to this or if it's down to a topical I use or whether it's just my skin still regenerating from the plasma fiber blasting or the microneedling or my more intensive radio frequency treatments. But whatever it is, it's so good because I really hate those little thread veins that run across my face. So I would say that's been roughly around about two minutes. So then all I will do, lift it off and then just reapply it. You'll notice there's a halo that comes around. Anywhere where you can see light, your skin is receiving that energy from that light and it's penetrating it. So it actually covers a pretty large area. The great thing about this is that it's portable, so even if you're traveling to work on public transport maybe, just pull it out of your pocket and start treating yourself. And if people look at you weirdly, hello? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. Can I call you back a little bit later? I need to finish treating my skin. Okay, thanks. So yeah, guys, basically that is it for this video. Hopefully it helps you understand a little bit more about LED light therapy and the benefits that it has on your skin. 
But I'm curious to know, have you ever used LED light therapy and do you think that it provided you with any real benefits at all? If you've got any other questions or comments about this device or radio frequency or anti-aging in general, drop them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get updated every time I upload a new video. Anyway guys, that's about it, so let's wrap things up. Before I go, I hope you have an absolutely amazing day today. That's it, so until next time, see ya.